State data shows ACT scores across the state took a slight dip this year for the second year in a row, but education leaders say that isn't the full story. Here's reporter Gabrielle Hayes with a look at the numbers and how the pandemic plays a part. The state's goal was to reach an average ACT score of 21 by 2020. New data shows that didn't happen. The average composite score this year was a 19.9, down from the record high score of 20.2 in 2018. Leanne Tuzo is with the enrollment office at Pellissippi State. So many seniors in high school right now, juniors in high school right now, have had unprecedented times in high school. She says for this reason, there's a lot to consider here, like the number of students who've taken the test. We had a long time there where they weren't testing, and so when you get behind, um, it's hard to catch up those numbers. A little over 1,200 fewer students took the exam in 2020. Tuzo says there's a lot of reasons for that. A lot of schools, um, that four-year institutions, so they're basically saying we're not going to use the ACT. Institutions across the country made this move because so many students couldn't take the test because of COVID. So some students might just think, well, I just don't need it. While some schools help pay for the exam, there are students who have to pay. And this year may have made that a little harder. Yeah. Saves them a little bit of money too. I don't know what they're going to be doing for the following years. You know, we'll just have to wait and see. Wait and see and give it time. And maybe we won't see as many students coming through that pipeline. But then I think we'll rebound, you know, and we'll get kind of more back to normal. In Knoxville, I'm Gabrielle Hayes. Now, the state also reports a drop in the number of students applying for federal student aid with FAFSA, about a 21% drop.